Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and for the last couple of days we've been able to play the Summer Games event for 2017 and honestly get a good general idea and honestly build a good opinion about it. We've had enough time to play Lucio Ball, maybe play a few placement games, or even get ranked in competitive Lucio Ball and even buy some loot boxes or get disappointed like how I am just in life. Okay, here's the legendary skip. <laughs> Either way, moving away from my actual life <laughs> for this video, I did want to give an honest review for and just give my thoughts on this 2017 kind of remake event, but also with what was brought to this event. Because honestly, going into it, I knew that this event was just going to be big, but on top of that, also the brand new skins and even hearing the news for Lucio Bowl, oh, I just knew it was going to be a perfect event. I just knew going into this event that I really wouldn't get disappointed, other than the fact that I really didn't get a lot of skins in the loot boxes. But other than that, I knew that Blizzard wouldn't let us down because I always say this in every type of video where I mention Blizzard and Overwatch. Blizzard loves Overwatch. They have integrity and they know they're not going to just copy and paste the old event and just boom here's the old one and give us more money. No, they're actually going to add to it and just make it uh, even better and that's what they did with this event. They took it up to a 10 and even turned it up a notch to even 11 and that's what I love about this and I did want to review it and get my thoughts and I try to do this with every single event. I've done it with the Uprising event and I'm pretty sure I did it for the Chinese New Year event but I do want to hear you guys' thoughts on this because I'm sure there's at least one person out there that doesn't like the summer games event so I do want to hear you guys thoughts in the comments but here are my thoughts and what I just love about this event and I just want to emphasize this I love this event so the first thing I do want to talk about are gonna be the skins because this is honestly what makes the event not the only thing but it's the big part because well wh wh let me just ask you what's the first thing you look forward to when you hear about an event oh what's the brand new skins I'm sure there's someone out there that's wondering oh what's the brand new map that they're bringing and that's uh, I'm I'm sure there is someone like that, <laughs> but honestly, the skins are my favorite thing. So when you look at the skins from last year's event, it was pretty great. You know, it was the first event. They didn't really know what they were getting into and what they were kind of setting the foundation for. But honestly, they raised the bar pretty high for bringing that first event. But now bringing it back, they obviously brought back the old skins, but turned it up to 11. That's what I'm going to say throughout this whole entire video, because that's what they did with the skins. They brought the Mercy skin. They brought the Reaper Biker skin, the Dad 76 skin. They really went all in with the memes and just took the characters that we know and love and kind of gave like characteristics of our own to them like obviously with Soldier 76 he's the dad McCree he's kind of like the sexy hunk or maybe just the American hunk I don't know and then and then Mercy obviously she's very sexy in her own type of way and they just completely just revamped them in the skin department and portrayed them in what we kind of see them as and that's what I love about it it's very colorful it's very vibrant it's very exciting it's very sexy and that's what we need in skins okay maybe not need but that's something I love about skins here and there I do appreciate a few like this very serious type of skins like the Chinese New Year skin that Zenyatta got right that's very serious that's not really oh cutesy daisy but then something like oh if you want to look at the dad 76 skin, I'm probably gonna go to the skin many times before because this is obviously a joke skin but it's so funny and so so cool and you know that skin is a legendary skin that's also something I want to mention too when it comes to skins I want a legendary skin I don't really want a skin similar to like the May Christmas skin. Yes, I still love that skin, but they should have made it into an epic skin. Yes, she does turn into like a snowman and her ice block, but really, that, that skin can, it's pretty much similar to like Lucio's Christmas skin, right? When it, when you look at the legendary skins for this Summer Games event, you know they're legendary. So I just, I, I'm just gonna be a broken record at this point. I love the skins. They're very perfect, very vibrant, and very colorful, and that's what I look for in a skin. Now, <laughs> let's talk about Lucio Ball. The Blizzard team took Lucio Ball, right? They had this little Okay, maybe maybe it wasn't their idea. Maybe they took it from another source, Rocket League, but they brought it back and obviously fixed all the problems from last year that I really didn't like because, well, there was a lot of cheesy tactics, apparently, and you could really do some cheeky ways to try to win, but they fixed those problems, and on top of that, they added competitive Lucio Ball. Yes, that's not the hardest thing to do. It's, they just really took Lucio Ball and say, okay, well, here's a ranking system. That's not really too hard, but it just works so well, and also they added the new Sydney, Australia Lucio Ball maps so uh, again they didn't really have to do too much to it really just take the same assets from the original Rio Stadium make it nighttime and make it into the city so it's not that hard but it's still they took something that was very simple and just added to it in, in, into a way that they really didn't change too much other than the things that really made it broken so I don't know about you guys but I love competitive Lucio Ball the thing that I look forward in a game 
mode type of fashion is the replayability factor, right? Can I replay it over and over and over again? When it came to the Capture the Flag game mode from the Chinese New Year, that's something that I really didn't like and I couldn't really play over and over again because, well, it was somewhat a little bit broken. Was it fun? Yes, but it was a little bit broken because of Symmetra, Torbjorn, and Bastion. But this, oh my god, it's just, there's so much to Lucio Bowl. It just makes it so fun. The ranking system seems a little bit more fair. I just want to stress a little bit more fair, but it feels just a, a lot more fun because you actually feel like you're playing for something, especially if you're solo queuing like I am for like 98% of the time. So I love competitive Lucio Ball. I'm sure most people do, and I'm sure there are a few people that really don't. They find it very boring, and I totally understand. It's not the most thrilling game mode, but still cute and still fun nonetheless. Now, the only problem that I have with this event, which this is very minute, it's not that big of a deal. However, they still kind of brought a new map into Overwatch with the Sydney Australian map, and on top of that, the new French Deathmatch map. Well, it's in the PTR right now, so you can't really play it on console or live PC, but either way, they really didn't make a, like an actual remake of a map. Usually they do this for like Hollywood for the Halloween event or 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 a King's Row for the Christmas event. They really didn't do anything like that in the multiplayer maps that was already in there, like Route 66 or Hollywood or whatever. So I would have liked to see that, but it, it's a very minute kind of complaint that really doesn't make or break the event. So overall, this event is perfect other than that. And even <laughs> the problems that come with this event, they're kind of offset because, well, they did add other maps, just not to multiplayer. So uh, this event overall is just perfect. It's really going to set the foundation for more remakes of other events because you guys have to realize what other holidays, what other in-game lore events could they really make? They're going to run out of holidays to make into events and they're going to obviously have to reuse the older events that they've had in the past. So I'm very excited to see what they're going to do for Halloween because a lot of people crown that as the number one event. I'm crowning this one the number one event, no doubt about it, but it's a little bit unfair because, well, there's so much to it. It's more than just an event now because now they're actually adding game modes and competitive playlists. So when it comes to Halloween, I'm sure that's going to be the number one because there's going to be new Halloween skins and maybe, I'm not going to say competitive Junkenstein's Revenge because once again, that's PvE, but still, I would like to see something added to it as terms of a game mode. So I don't know. I want to hear you guys' thoughts. Let me know what you think of the Summer Games event. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching more Overwatch videos to come and bye.